Are you stuck and just feeling hopeless? I believe that the Lord has a word for you today. My name is Mersha Shanek and welcome. To I think many of us really struggle to forget the things in the past. Things that have happened to us, things that have been said to us, things that have been done to us. And we seem to get stuck there. But God forgives everything. He forgives all things. He wants you to know you are totally forgiven. And so I want to remind you of a few scriptures that God is giving those that are feeling hopeless today. God wants to do a new thing in your heart and in your life. And this is especially for those that just feel stuck. And you can't forgive yourself and you can't move on. If you don't start changing your mind to what God is saying to you, you are always going to be stuck. You see, the enemy wants you stuck. He's the father of lies. He's the accuser of the brethren. But I'm beginning to get the revelation to move on. I'm beginning to make the decision that my past does not determine who I am and where I'm going. So Isaiah 43 verse 18 to 19 is a word for you today. Do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is a word for you. Forget the former things. Do not remember the former things. They are keeping you stuck. You see, God sees you the way he created you. He knows your potential. He knows what he's going to do in and through you. But you will keep yourself stuck in the past. If you are not familiar with the word of God. God wants to show up strong in your life. He wants to do a new thing. He wants to bring you out of the bondage that is holding you back. From experiencing him in all his fullness and all his glory. Philippians 3 verse 12 to 14. This is in the New Testament and this is a. A message from Paul who was a murderer. Paul persecuted the Christians. And Paul says, not that I have already attained or am already perfected, but I press on. I'm not perfect, but I press on. That I may lay hold of that for which Christ has also laid hold of me. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, have arrived but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. See, God had an, had an amazing plan and a purpose for Paul's life. Paul wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. And we love reading what Paul has to say. And it helps us to press on in our journey. And so verse 13, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. What a powerful message for us. Forget the things which are behind. And you might think, but I can't forget them. Yes, you can. Maybe if you start meditating on the word of God, it will negate those negative thoughts that you keep having about yourself. See, God loves you. And if you know how much he loves you and that he wants you to step out and be all he's called you to be, you will make a decision to forget the things which are behind. And I love Philippians 1 verse 6. It's a scripture that has stuck with me over the years. When I feel like I'm a failure, and I feel like nothing is working out for me. I remember the scripture. Being confident of this very thing. 
that he which has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And if you've heard my testimony, I failed before I became a Christian and I made lots of mistakes during my journey with the Lord. But the Lord has pursued me and he has strengthened me and he's helped me to overcome and he's helped me to let go of the things which are behind and I'm pressing on to the prize of the high calling. Let's walk this journey. Let's fight the good fight of faith and trust God for everything else in our lives. And so if you are out there and you're just struggling with guilt, shame and condemnation, remember Isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. Forget the things which are behind. Forget the former things. I am doing a new thing and claim that for you. That God is doing a new thing in your heart and in your life. And that he's not looking at the mistakes you've made and the mess and the failures. But he's looking at what he can do in you and through you. I trust this encourages you today. Press on to the prize of the high calling. Be confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. And now let me pray for you. Father, we just lift up to you those that are just feeling abandoned, rejected, hopeless, worthless, ashamed, guilty, and condemned. We lift them up to you today, and I pray, Lord, that even right now you are speaking. You are speaking loud, and you are speaking clear. You are inviting them into just a relationship with you. You are inviting them to experience you in all your fullness and all your glory. You are inviting them to change, change their situations, change how they feel about themselves. As you declare to them today, I love you, daughter. I love you, son. And I promise that I'm going to make a way in the wilderness for you. I'm going to bring about the change that you so desire. I sense the Lord saying to you, we're going to do this thing. And you are going to make a difference wherever you go. And you are going to experience me in all my fullness and all my glory. I sense the Lord saying to you that you were made to make a difference on this earth. And that you are called for such a time as this. Stop listening to the lies of the enemy and his accusations. I'm speaking life over you. I'm speaking truth over you. I'm speaking healing. I'm speaking deliverance over you. I declare that you are an overcomer. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. And we thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you that you hear every prayer of ours and you answer each one of them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And I trust that you are encouraged by the word of the Lord today. And so just go out there and believe that he's for you and not against you. If you've been encouraged by this video today, why don't you like, subscribe and leave me a comment. I pray that you will continue ex to experience God in all his fullness and all his glory. And share this video with others. And I trust that, you know, you are strengthened today. I'm going to leave all the details of the scriptures that I've quoted in the description box. I'm going to give you details of a book that I've written, A Journey with the King. And if you'd like to receive a monthly devotional from me, I'm going to send you um, details of that as well. And then just leave me your email address so that I can get that to you. But I trust that you're having a really great day. And remember, God loves you. Amen and amen.